Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China uses US chips for nuclear fusion research, and Congress will launch a full investigation into this. Did the Chinese Institute of Engineering really use US chips to develop nuclear weapons? The US Congress called for finding out the truth. What is going on? First, let's look at the background of this issue. Although the name of the China Institute of Engineering Physics is loud, it is actually the largest place in China to study nuclear weapons. Recently, six of the seven research reports on nuclear technology mentioned the use of computer chips and processors to improve the performance of ICF equipment. Don't take it too lightly. It is a major issue related to national security. The most surprising thing is that there are reports that the machine uses the US Intel Model Coray 7-7800X, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 t graphics card. Yes, it is the kind that ordinary people use to play games and watch videos. As soon as the US Congress learned of this news, it immediately launched a full investigation. Will this violate the US ban on chips? In fact, there is a story behind this. The China Institute of Engineering Physics was listed as an export control agency by the United States in 1997. What does this mean? This means that the United States has restricted American technology and products. Are you interested in our products? Sorry, China does not sell them. This rule is still in use today. The United States has obviously premeditated such restrictions on Chinese high-tech companies. But can this ban really exclude China completely? Of course not. Let's take a look. The Chinese Academy of Engineering can still buy chips and graphics cards from the United States. Worldwide, such chips and graphics cards have become the most common and common accessories, and they are not uncommon worldwide. On the US side, Export controls on China have become increasingly strict in recent years. There are many Chinese high-tech companies and universities on the asset list. To put it bluntly, they will do nothing to help you if they have the chance. However, think about it, who doesn't have some common computer accessories? Isn't this a manifestation of the United States' hegemony in high technology? However, China must mention the current technological competition between China and the United States. The United States has been strictly controlling China's exports in the past few years. Why? They don't want China to catch up or surpass them in high technology. The China Institute of Engineering Physics, CIEP, uses chips produced in the United States, making this competition more intense. In fact, not only the Chinese Academy of Sciences, but many Chinese high-tech companies and universities have also been under pressure from the United States. For example, Huawei, once the king of 5G, cannot get many core technologies and chips because of the restrictions imposed by the United States on Huawei. For example, several institutions of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have also been included in the list of organizations, which has caused the suspension of many international cooperation plans. On the other hand, 
When the United States puts pressure on China, China does not sit idly by. In this context, China is vigorously promoting independent research and development to get rid of its dependence on foreign technology. Take Huawei, for example, isn't that enough? Although they are restricted by the United States, they have made many breakthroughs in their own product development. Take SMIC, China's largest chip manufacturer, as an example. The company is also stepping up its efforts to strive for more self-made chips. Before talking about potato chips, I must mention the key point of the whole thing. The Core i7-7800X and GeForce GTX 1080 graphics cards are both made by the China Institute of Engineering Physics. Although they are common all over the world, they are made in the United States. Please tell me, do you have the above accessories installed on your computer at home? Yes, I think so. For ordinary consumers, such accessories are very common. So why would the US government ban them outright? But the United States has a different view. They think that China can achieve high-tech breakthroughs with those ordinary computer parts. That's why a comprehensive investigation is needed. But can China find out the facts? If so, what should China do? China is facing export controls and pressure from the United States, and it is not an easy opponent. In sharp contrast, China devotes most of its manpower and resources to domestic research and development. A large number of high-tech enterprises and research institutes are vigorously promoting independent innovation. Although the road is difficult, China's progress in science and technology is obvious. Therefore, the Sino-US technology dispute has once again been pushed to the forefront by the Chinese Academy of Engineering using American-made chips. China insists on taking the path of independent innovation under pressure from the United States. In this process, China will encounter difficulties and breakthroughs, and we will see the results.